Hi friends, I am conducting an experiment to compare the growth of tomato plants in Aero Garden Bounty Elite and Bounty Basic. The aim is to determine whether the 50 voltage lights in the Elite model make a significant difference compared to the 30 voltage lights in the Basic model. I am using 42 day tomato variety in this experiment. I have grown 42 day tomatoes before in Aero Garden Harvest and they turned out excellent. I am excited to see how this new experiment will turn out with the Bounty model's superior light voltage. I am placing two seeds in each pod and starting with four pods. My goal is to grow two plants in each garden. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod and two pods in each garden. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This is one way to prevent algae developing on the sponges. The garden is all set and good to go. It's been 6 days. Germination is excellent. All seeds germinated and the seedlings are coming nice. This is a great start. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. I will use aerogode nutrition throughout the grow cycle. And I will start with the recommended dosage which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. Once the plants are well established and started producing flowers and fruits, I may need to bump up the nutrition. Let's talk about it as the plants make progress. Day 11, the seedlings are coming nice. It's time to thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. If you wonder about the small piece of tin foil around the seedlings, I added this to block the light that is going onto the sponges. The hole is pretty big and there is lot of gap from which the light will pass through. If the light goes onto the sponge that is wet with nutrition water, the algae will start developing. So blocking the light as much as possible will prevent algae development. It's day 20. The seedlings are coming excellent. In fact, they are plants now. They are about 4 inches tall. It is time to transfer two of these plants to Aero Garden Bounty Basic and leave the room for two plants here. I see three plants are coming super strong and one plant is a little bit weak. It took a lot of time to settle but now it started picking up the growth. I am going to move two of the strongest plants to Aero Garden Bounty Basic and keep the remaining two plants here. Then we can do the comparison. Alright, I moved two plants to Aero Garden Bounty Basic. These are the most healthiest plants in the garden compared to the weakest plant in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. Now let's see which garden will give good results. As I transferred the plants, I moved these plants to the edges and I also changed the water and cleaned the bowl. So it is going to be a clean start. So there is nothing like this garden has more nutrition. So both this Elite and Bounty Basic has fresh water and I am starting with fresh nutrients. It's day 29. Both plants in Bounty Elite started flowering. This is the first plant and here is the second plant. Coming to Bounty Basic, I see same pattern here as well. Both plants started flowering. It's day 32. I see the flowering started on one plant and the flower buds are very close to bloom on other plant. Coming to Bounty Basic, I see the flowering started on one plant here as well. And a few flower buds are close to bloom. So far all plants are going at same pace. It's day 37. Look at these plants, they are loaded with flowers. Both plants are loaded with flowers and they are at full bloom and some of the flowers already dried up and I see baby tomatoes.
same thing with bounty basic as well the plants are loaded with flowers some flowers drying up and i see baby tomatoes same thing with other plant i see few baby tomatoes here as well this is all excellent it's day 42 the plants are looking great and i see bunch of tomatoes this is really amazing these plants are always looking amazing with lots of flowers they are always loaded with flowers now they are loaded with tomatoes this is really amazing this plant looks weak from day one but it is still producing lots of flowers and a couple of baby tomatoes so this is awesome same thing with bounty basic the plants are loaded with flowers and a lot of baby tomatoes this is amazing day 45 the tomatoes are coming nice but i see they are getting root rot bunch of tomatoes having this issue same thing with the tomatoes in bounty basic as well they are getting root rot so i'm going to add calmag to both gardens this is called blossom and rot and it is caused by a shortage of calcium in enlarging fruits i have grown so many varieties of cherry tomatoes so far and i never had to use any calcium supplements Aerogarden Nutrition already has some calcium and that is well enough. However, the bigger tomatoes need more calcium and Aerogarden Nutrition is not giving enough calcium. So I will start adding some calcium supplements from now on. Let me also call out when and how much calcium I will add. I will add 5 ml of calcium every 14 days and i will add it seven days after the regular feeding cycle for aerogarden nutrition since the aerogarden nutrition already has some calcium i don't want to add both aerogarden nutrition and calcium supplement together and increase the calcium levels too much so adding the supplements right in between the regular feeding cycles will balance the calcium level this is what I do with all the bigger size tomatoes and this is working very well. It's day 50. The rotten tomatoes started falling off. There are lots of tomatoes that are rot. Oops, they are falling off. Anyways, there is no point keeping these rotten tomatoes on the plant. So I thought of removing anyways. But all the new tomatoes are doing fine. So adding CalMag seems to be helping. Same thing with the plants in Bounty Basic. The rotten tomatoes started falling off. I will remove all the rotten tomatoes from these plants as well. The young tomatoes are looking good here as well. Alright, I removed all the rotten tomatoes. These are from Bounty Elite. And these are the rotten tomatoes from Bounty Basic. This experiment has been growing excellent so far, but everything turned south within a week. I should have monitored these tomatoes closely and I should have acted fast. But anyway, the damage has happened. I can't do anything. But now onwards, I'm going to actively add CalMag. It's day 64. The plants are doing excellent. They are loaded with the tomatoes. Look at all these tomatoes. They are pretty big, much bigger than the cherry tomatoes. Just for the comparison, I have a cherry tomatoes right next to this 42 day tomato. Look at this, how different they are in size. They are double the size of cherry tomato. In fact, some of them are probably three times bigger than the standard cherry tomato. This is really good. And I see a couple of tomatoes started ripening in Bounty Elite. Coming to Bounty Basic, the plants are doing excellent here as well. These plants also loaded with tomatoes. And these tomatoes also pretty big in size. 
I don't see any tomatoes ripening in this garden, but looks like one tomato here started changing some color. So the tomatoes could be ripening in this garden as well pretty soon. It's day 71, starting with Bounty Illich. The previously ripened tomatoes just fell off. They ripened very well. They don't have any rotting issue here. So they're looking perfect. This one has a little bit of rotting issue, but this was one of the first batch. But the subsequent tomatoes are doing really good. And lot of tomatoes started ripening on these plants. This is really nice. Coming to Bounty Basic, I see the first ripened tomato fell off here as well. But this is again from the Rotten Tomatoes batch. Lot of tomatoes started ripening here as well. The plants in Bounty Basic are running little bit behind compared to the plants in Bounty Elite, but not too bad. One huge problem I am noticing with this variety of tomatoes is the powdery mildew. Lots of leaves are getting infected with powdery mildew and it is terribly bad. I am really hating this issue. Same thing with the plants in Bounty Basic. Lots of powdery mildew here as well. But if I keep this powdery mildew issue aside, I am pretty happy with the tomatoes. The growth of these tomatoes is really good. They are pretty nice, pretty decent in size and they are ripening very well. Look at the size of these tomatoes. They are three to four times bigger than cherry tomatoes. This is really nice. The size of the tomatoes is one of the reasons I want to choose this variety over cherry tomatoes. It's not that cherry tomatoes are bad. I am just bored of growing cherry tomatoes for many years. And when I look outside cherry tomatoes, this is one of the best varieties I can grow. The plants are not that tall. Most part of these plants is under the lights and they are growing very well. Producing lots of tomatoes and they are ripening pretty fast too. Getting the ripening tomatoes in just 71 days is really nice thing. It's day 76. Lots of tomatoes have ripened in Bounty Elite. I still see some tomatoes are falling off. These tomatoes are pretty healthy. I don't see any issues with this tomato, but uh, still they are falling off when they are half ripened. But uh, that is fine. They are going to continue ripening because they already started the ripening process. Here is one more tomato that just fell off. But look at all these tomatoes. They are ripening very well and looking so beautiful. Look at this tomato. This looks so beautiful with most red and a little bit of orange. So many tomatoes have ripened. Very few tomatoes are still green. Coming to Bounty Basic, I see lots of tomatoes ripening here as well. In fact, some of the tomatoes have fully ripened and ready to harvest. I see the tomatoes falling off here as well. These are the healthy tomatoes. I don't see any root rot issues. They have pretty much ripened. There is only a little bit of green left. Look at these tomatoes. They look beautiful. And these plants also have a few tomatoes still green. But they started changing colors. They are turning from dark green to light green. So they are also going to ripen soon. I still see a few baby tomatoes. And I see lots of flowering. So this is all going good. I see some flowering on the plants in Bounty Elite as well. It's day 80. Lots of tomatoes have ripened very well in Bounty Elite and they are ready to harvest. They are looking so nice. Lot of tomatoes just fell off from the plants. Some of them are green but they started ripening so I'm not worried about it. They are going to continue ripening. So this is all good. Now the plants have very few green tomatoes left but they also started changing the colors. So these tomatoes also going to ripen pretty soon. 
coming to Bounty Basic, I see a lot of tomatoes ripened here as well. And some of them are getting into a ripening stage. These tomatoes also looking beautiful. I see a few tomatoes still pretty young here. I think these are going to take another two weeks to get into ripening and well ripened. As of now, the plants in Bounty Elite did a little better compared to the plants in Bounty Basic. The productivity seems to be pretty close, but the overall growth is a little bit slow in Basic. Anyways, I will harvest the tomatoes from both gardens and check the weight. Alright, I got 1.12 LBs from Elite after excluding some rotten tomatoes. And I got 1.02 LBs from Bounty Basic. That's pretty close. Here are the plants after the harvest. These are semi-ripened or green tomatoes. See how these tomatoes are just falling off. And these are the plants in Bounty Basic. There are few semi-ripened and green tomatoes and some young tomatoes. It's day 103. The plants in Bounty Elite once again loaded with baby tomatoes. Look at all these beautiful baby tomatoes all over the plant. There are still tens of baby tomatoes coming up and the plants are still at full bloom. I see lots of flower birds, flowers and baby tomatoes. Coming to Bounty Basic, the remaining tomatoes from the first batch have ripened very well. Now I am going to harvest all these tomatoes. These plants also started flowering. And some of them started drying up. And I see few baby tomatoes. So definitely there are very very few flowers compared to Bounty Elite. These plants are running way behind compared to the plants in Bounty Elite. Maybe once I harvest all these tomatoes, these plants will start picking up their second growth. So I am going to harvest all the tomatoes. Anyway, they have ripened well. So I am going to harvest all these tomatoes and set these plants up for second crop. But this is very clearly proven that the Bounty Elite is definitely making huge difference compared to Bounty Basic. In the earlier days, it was a little difficult to say that these plants in Bounty Basic are behind. But now I can clearly say that these plants are very 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 behind compared to the plants in Bounty Elite. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.